This video will introduce you to decorticate and decerebrate posturing. First, we'll start with decorticate posturing. You'll see the patient's arms abducted and their arms flexed up against their chest. Their legs will be plantar flexed with their knees extended and they'll be in a very tight position. This would earn a score of three on the Glasgow Coma Scale and it's always associated with disinhibition of the red nucleus and disruption of the lateral corticospinal tract. Next, we'll move to decerebrate posturing. You notice the posture is very much the same with plantar flexion of the feet and extension of the knees. However, the patient's arms have moved to an adducted, pronated, and wrist flexion state. This would earn a score of 2 on the Glasgow Corma Scale, and it's caused by brainstem damage, specifically below the level of the red nucleus.